Butts, it's your boy Rotter, and welcome back to another crazy video. And in this video, guys, this was actually a suggestion of mine from a while ago on my Instagram. Go follow me there, Rotter Totter. And uh, yeah, so this video is actually going to be about something which I got asked one time. It's a, uh, um, like, it's a, like, I'm pretty much going to be telling you guys some tips on, like, how. To improve your art. Well, like what I mean is like how to improve your skill, your like, for pretty much your everything, pretty much. Uh, like uh, just just your skill and art in general. And uh, it's it's gonna be kind of cheesy because I don't really know what to say for this video because this video is entirely unscripted. But I'll give it my best shot. So anyway, uh, pretty much what you want to, pretty much what you want to do is you do, like in my eyes you gotta learn anatomy. Anatomy. It's pretty much key if you want to be a, uh, a good artist. Um, for, just study some, like, like, study some, like, art techniques. Study some, like, different, uh, like, points and stuff. Uh, like, I'm telling you guys, I, I, I did not become this good very easily. Like, literally, I've, I've been drawing for years. I've been drawing ever since I was, like, five years old, so... That, like I, I don't want people thinking that I uh, like that I like been like just got amazing talent out of nowhere. So if you guys uh, like if you, if some of you if some of you guys are like kind of thinking that then uh, no I'm not really like like I, I haven't been like just gifted with this amazing talent like all of a sudden I have uh, I've been working up to this and I've been doing this ever since like I said like ever since I was like five years old. So um, yeah. So pretty much, like, to just learn, just learn anatomy, and uh, just teach yourself how to do certain things. Study videos. Study like, study like how people do it. Look at their way of doing it, and just find out um, your style of like what works for you in a certain manner. But uh, I guess for um, the next thing is um, learn how to shade and learn um, color palettes. Like, but like what I mean by shading is. Like if you, like let's just say you're like uh, like inking your art or whatever, uh, or just like shading with a with a color thing. These two these two things kind of collide. But um, if you if you ever want to like crosshatch, make like a cool comic style type of uh, type of art um, for you younger first who like very detailed art, um, just try and go for uh, and like study uh, videos of like um, crosshatching and stuff. Crosshatching. Uh, darker shading and um, and, al and also do the same for color learn how to um, learn how to do good color palettes learn how to do uh, like learn how to pretty much uh, blend color um, and, and study what colors look best together and just and just work up to what you are uh, like just working up for like I said this video is gonna be kind of cheesy so if I stutter a lot, that's because I'm not really sure what to say. So I apologize about that, guys. But I promise you, I'm really trying. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just like study those things, and I promise you, uh, you will get everything. So um, for the next one is uh, study textures. If you um, like, if you've seen the way I draw uh, and stuff, you'll see the way I draw like shirts and like texture and stuff. Um, study some texturing, like stuff, like, like look at some, the way people texture their stuff, like let's just say hair, like the thing I'm doing right now. Study, uh, study hair and stuff and how it goes in certain patterns, and, um, and try to emulate that into your own art. And I know if a lot of you are like, have already done some of this and you guys have, have been like working really hard on it, I've seen a lot of younger furs who are like way younger than me, who can draw 10 times better than me. And, and, and like me, and, and actually that's really amazing. For you guys who can draw really good like that, I, I highly support you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely awesome and I love what you guys do. But um, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So just like um, learn textures and stuff like, um, like ripples in water or just like creases in shirts and and like and just like how hair looks and stuff and like fur texture and stuff just like just like study some of that just study some of that because um like it helps your pictures look more detailed it helps uh just everything look a little more pop out of the page if that's how you want to that's how you want to say it 
So like, yeah, so, it, and also it's just a lot of practice. It's just a lot of practice to learn how to do this stuff over time. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll eventually like, um, up your game and stuff. It's all about like studying, like what works best for you and also finding your style. If you guys can find your style and, uh, mix that with the stuff that I'm telling you about, uh, trust me, then you will get really, really far into like, uh, future art and everything. And it, and also, uh, off of, off of topic for just a little second, uh, this picture I'm actually drawing in this video is a, uh, picture for uh, Inktober. Because Inktober is all over the place. I know it's not, like, really, like, I know it's kind of near the end of October, kind of, I guess. But, uh, you, you know what? I just decided to do some Inktober stuff. I'm probably going to do this every year if you guys can possibly remind me and stuff. Uh, I probably will forget. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, on to topic. Um, so, yeah, to just uh, practice the things which I'm telling you about. Uh, study those things. Learn how to do some of those things. And I promise you, you guys will get far. And for, again, for you younger furs who can draw, like, those really detailed, like, animation art type looking stuff, I highly support you guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. I love what you guys do. Uh, because if you look at all these YouTube animators, um, like these YouTube uh, meme animators, uh, like these furry YouTube animators, um, I, you guys are just freaking amazing. For you guys, like... I don't know how you guys do it, but you guys, like, develop an amazing sense of, like, style and, and realistic, like, expressions and stuff. Um, it's just, it, it's really ama amazing what you do, but, um, one last, one, one other thing, but, uh, also study, uh, like I said, it's kind of a part of the anatomy thing, but study facial features, study, uh, like, what, study angles and, like, facial features, uh, and, and work on those to make them look more realistic because um, everyone just loves seeing like like uh, a happy facial feature in like and also I know another thing besides that don't make your don't make your art always facing forward make sure that you add a little depth to it like like how you see in this picture how he's kind of like looking to like the left a little bit don't always make your characters face forward all the time only do that for if it's a very certain pose what you're thinking of but if you're ever doing something like this or like a badge or something for like a con or whatever make sure that you have um, depth in your character because trust me that will change your art perspective forever so don't always make them go forward uh, learn some anatomy and uh, details and text and stuff like that it's all pretty simple and it's a uh, it's all good all around and, it, and like I said again Again, uh, this is really important. It always takes practice, guys. It always takes practice, and um, and practice makes perfect, as they always say. So, uh, yeah. So finishing up the drawing right now. A few little things left. And um, again, also thank you guys so much uh, for everything that you guys do to do for me. We are almost at 30 subscribers on the channel, and uh, yeah, I love you guys. Stay fluffy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.